Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if your Windows Media device or media player doesn't seem to be working on your Windows 7 computer. So besides the obvious issue you could be having with your physical optical drive where the DVDs and CDs go into, besides that, assuming it's not an actual hardware problem but it's a software problem, Hopefully this tutorial should be able to address that issue for you guys and we should be pretty quick. So we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the star menu and you want to type in troubleshooting and the best match underneath control panel that should populate this list should say troubleshooting. You want to left click on that one time to open it up. Okay so now on the left side here you want to left click on this view all button and now you want to go down to where it says Windows Media Player DVD and you can perform the option with these other two areas here as well if this one doesn't work for you for Windows Media Player Library and Windows Media Player Settings but we're going to select Windows Media Player DVD is going to be our most likely candidate here so we should get a new window and if we minimize out of the other one it should say Windows Media Player DVD play a DVD using Windows Media Player troubleshoot and pre help prevent computer problems you want to left click on this advanced hyperlink right here and you want to make sure this box is checked right next to where it says apply repairs automatically then you want to confirm and click on this next button right here and you might get a suggestion here saying install DVD playback device and you might get different alerts as well depending on your specific situation you want to just click on next here and hopefully you should be able to resolve any problems you have I don't actually have any DVDs hooked up to this virtual environment that's why I'm getting that but just as a perfect example of why you would get an alert like this and if you view detailed information it'll tell you exactly what it's scanned for so it definitely can be helpful in pointing you in the right direction even if the utility is unable to solve the problem so I'm just going to put it out there but I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial goodbye